Hello students, this is your physics teacher Sharma and I welcome you all to my class. Today we are going to start with a new topic that is sound. Sound is something which we are very familiar with because nevertheless we make it. I mean when I say we make sound. For example, I am talking to you. When I am talking to you, you can actually hear my voice. That is because of the sound which is coming from my throat through the mouth to you. Okay. When you try to communicate by words, you are actually producing some, some amount of sound. Okay. So, now we will be discussing about the topic sound. Now, we define sound as a form of energy. Okay. Now, anything we call it a form of energy. No, we don't call just anything as a form of energy. How many types of energies do we have? We have light energy, heat energy, electrical energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, different types of energies and along with that one is sound energy. Now we define something as a form of energy if it is capable of doing some work. Okay, there is an activity which you can do in the house itself. You just take up a small piece of paper and you keep it in front of your mouth and you just try to talk. When you are talking, you will notice that the paper tries to fly away from your mouth and sometimes come close to your mouth. It will be moving forward and backward towards and away from your mouth. Okay, this clearly indicates that when we are talking, that means when we are producing some amount of sound, it is making something move. Okay, so that means some amount of work is done and we say something as an energy only if it has the capacity to do work. Anything which has the capacity to do work is called energy. Now what does this sound energy do? Sound energy. Sound is a form of energy which causes sensation of hearing. We are able to hear something because of this form of energy. How we are hearing, how we are producing, that we will be discussing in the coming class. Okay, now, how is this sound traveling from one, one, one point to another point and what actually is making this sound? To know that, we need to know a technical term called vibration. Okay, now what is vibration? You may not be knowing this, you may be coming across this particular term for the first time. For that, I will let you know. See, when I take a tuning fork, we call this a tuning fork. This tuning fork will have a long stem and two prongs, okay, which are fairly long. Okay. Now, when I strike this with a rubber hammer, you can see they are vibrating. It is moving to and fro motion. Now, this is very small to notice, but I will do one thing. If this is the prong, it moves to and fro, and again to and fro, like that it is moving. Okay, now you must have seen something like this. This you might have seen, and we call this as oscillation. Okay, we call that oscillatory motion in a simple pendulum. What is the difference between oscillation and vibration? The difference is pretty simple. In case of oscillation, the entire body will be undergoing to and fro motion. Whereas in case of vibration, only a part of the body will undergo to and fro motion for the likes of this tuning fork. In this tuning fork, we see the entire tuning fork is not moving to and fro. Only this part will be moving away 
mean position and this side and again mean position so this kind of motion is called vibration now how is this vibration related to sound production of sound is done only by vibrating bodies okay okay we are not able to see the vibration produced by it let us visualize for that i take a small apparatus i take a bob suspended by means of a thread okay now when i strike this tuning fork with a rubber hammer it vibrates those vibrations are very small for which you cannot see but is it really vibrating we will look into that you see that when we are actually trying to bring it close to the tuning fork when it is touching the tuning fork it is moving away let us try this once again so when it is undergoing this to and fro motion it is pushing the bob away okay so from this we understand in case of vibration there is a to and fro motion of the body now how can we say that this vibration actually causes sound it produces sound let us check with the same tuning fork okay i hit this against the rubber piece or a cork i bring it close to the camera you hear the sound don't you Let us try with a different tuning fork. I take a tuning fork. I strike it against a piece of cork, and I bring it close to the camera. I am keeping it close to the microphone of the camera so that you can actually hear it clearly. Okay, let me try again. i hope it is clearly audible okay so whenever a body is vibrating it produces sound now let us put things more practical when you are talking if you keep your hand on your throat you can actually feel those vibrations okay when you are talking if you keep your hand on your throat you can feel those vibrations you can feel the vibrations in your throat okay so this is a very clear indication that every vibrating body produces sound so vibration means it is a to and fro motion of a part of a body okay and every vibrating body produces sound okay so this is actually making the first part of our lesson in today's lesson what did we learn in today's lesson we have learned that sound is a form of energy and that sound is causing the sensation of hearing today we have learned the definition of vibration where we learned that rapid to and fro motion of a body of a part of a body along the same path is called vibration and we have learned and also we have seen that a vibrating body produces sound okay with the next part of the chapter we'll meet again until then have a nice time bye bye